State of Unreal just dropped, and I made a little debrief for you guys. Let's analyze that together. The State of Unreal kicked off with a bang, focusing particularly on Skylands and Marvel's new game featuring Captain America and Black Panther in the midst of World War II era Paris. 1943 Rise of Hydra is set for release next year. Finally, we get to see it, guys. The extensive use of Lumen and Nanite, especially Nanite distillation in gameplay, with real-time iteration such as adding snow on top of various assets, including actual geometry additions, not just module setup. The presentation of the use of heterogeneous volume in gameplay is quite incredible to witness. Real-time and with this quality, it's unheard of. The interaction with light and shadow projection is fantastic. We also got to see the spotlight on the use of metahumans in-game and thus in real time. Look at these insane facial animations. This promises a lot. Really looking forward to seeing the final results with all the latest and real technologies in a game. And finally, we got an overview of the new features of Unreal Engine 5.4. The speech was direct, with Epic focusing on optimization and the development of existing features. Firstly, with rendering, notably emphasizing nanite desolation and optimization of heterogeneous volume based on the Rise of Hydra demo. Regarding animation, Epic highlighted its motion matching tool, which will be production ready in version 5.4. The demo is enticing and reveals the full potential of this powerful tool. Goodbye manual setup of state machines. We'll be able to apply movement animations more quickly and easily, and not just that. This will also involve more complex animations. A new debugging mode was also announced. And the big announcement in this section is the future addition of a sample project with over 500 motion animations fully compatible with MetaHuman Rigs. And of course, completely free, thanks Epic. Right after that, we had a demonstration of in-editor animation with the revelation that all of LEGO Fortnite, not just the game, but also the cinematic parts, were entirely created and animated in Unreal without any other TCC usage. As expected, we're getting a revamped sequencer with numerous updates such as curve management in the sequencer. As we predicted in our last video, we also got a brief focus on the modular rig, which looks really promising, and an additional focus on the skeletal mesh editor, as well as the new deformer module. In addition to MetaSound, we'll be getting a new sound management tool, Audio Insight. This will greatly enhance all aspects of sound design and enable even more detailed immersive audio experiences. Let's talk a bit about BCG, and the big announcement here, aside from the general update to the tool, which will still remain in beta, is the addition of a new tool, BCG Biome. In the form of a plugin, this new tool is supposed to help us create ecosystems more easily and quickly, just as it was used and developed at Epic for the LEGO Fortnite experience. Unfortunately, we don't have a precise release date for version 5.4. But the good news is that we have access to the preview 1 of this version starting today. Yes, folks, fire up your launchers and download it right now. Oh, and oddly, no news about the Avalanche project, which will now be called Motion Design. It's already available in this preview via the plugin's Motion Design tab. Don't worry, I love Intuit and prepared quite a few videos on that. The show continued with the presentation of three very interesting games, starting with Dew, a Reckoning, and open world survival MMO set in the universe we all know now. It was very interesting to see the collaboration with Greg Fraser, cinematographer on the Dune films part 1 and 2, using Unreal Engine for previews for the film. Also revolutionary new technologies of Unreal are being used in this game, namely Nanites and Numen, to name a few, which is obviously very promising. Star Wars Hunter was also showcased at this show. This cross-platform arena shooter, in a somewhat Fortnite style, will bring together many iconic characters from the universe, in the form of 4v4 battles. Chrono Studio announces something big, this MMORPG, with the ability to manipulate time through our experience, will immerse us in massive and grandiose universes. The emphasis on the use of data layers and world partition in Unreal was pleasant to see. The game is already available for wishlists on the Epic Game Store. Epic talked numbers, notably the growing use of the engine and the remainder of the revenue sharing system. As a reminder, we had the new plan and license system just before GDC via the networks. There won't be major changes even for the linear content parts, unless you reach a revenue of $1 million on your annual project. The system already in place for the gaming parts is almost the same here. Another important news is the arrival of the Epic Game Store on mobile. 
iOS and Android. Finally, we had some very interesting announcements about UEFN, and among all this, the presentation of a map entirely made with custom assets with a ridiculously small size of only 200 megabytes caught my attention. The little surprise was all of the announcement of metahumans in the form of NPC available in UEFN. That's a big announcement. A major optimization has also been made on the total weight of a metahuman with an initial weight of 950 megabytes now reduced to 60 megabytes. Incredible. There was also a a brief focus on the workflow used for the creation of metahuman clothing with marvelous designer and the final adjustment in Unreal with the cloth chaos engine. Lastly, the LEGO experience will undergo numerous improvements, especially with the addition of new tools and assets, but also and mainly the addition of three new modes, Prop Hunts, Battle Arena and Cat Island Adventure. We also have the ability to create our own island and proceed in the same way as with UEFN, that is, to take advantage of the Unreal Editor to create our own experiences. That's really Really great, especially since the teams have added a ton of new assets and prefabs. That is for the debrief guys, thanks for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments and see you for our next video. Bye!